Tube. My name is Denise and this is Black Ribbon Stitch Studio, my floss tube channel all about cross stitch and crafting. Today is Thursday, January 11th. I want to welcome all of you to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram as Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. Happy New Year. Welcome 2024. This is my first video of January 2024 and I'm kind of excited about the new year and all of the things that we have um, coming up. I hope you had a wonderful time ringing in the new year with your friends and family or if you just decided to... Um, hunker down and stitch. I hope you enjoyed all of that. I watched the ball drop with neighbors. Um, it was interesting to say the least. We all gathered in the lounge and um, I must say it was difficult uh, to stay up until midnight. I'm usually up until midnight but I think it's because we basically weren't doing anything. Now, if we had been like playing games or something, uh, that would have been a little bit easier. But I believe that um, as of 12.03, we were out. We were gone. We were, that's it. That was enough. Because <laughs> we were down there for quite some time. But it was fun. Um, we had a dinner party um, in the building um, the following day on the 1st. It was a potluck. Um, it was really good. Uh, I must say, people in this building can cook. It was it was good. I enjoyed almost everything. I brought a what is it's called a cherry dump cake, but it's very similar to cherry cobbler. Um, I had given some people a taste of that. Uh, a couple of months ago, and they were like, bring that, bring that. So I brought that. It was a hit. I'm really happy about it, and um, I'm looking forward to more, you know, celebrations um, with with my neighbors. We're, we're having a pretty good time over here. My, uh, some big news uh, for me is that I signed up for and got into the Queen City Stitch Retreat 2024, which is taking place in October in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where I am located. Um, and so I am super excited about that. I'm so excited because there are uh, some Floss tubers that I know very well um, that I have not yet met a person that are going to be there. I am over the moon excited. I'm also really excited about the fact that this time um, I actually have nine months to prepare. So that that's exciting to me. Um, I don't know. Uh, if you're new, you, you may not know that last year I did get in and then I had to back out. Um, and then a spot was offered to me uh, much closer to the actual date. So I didn't have as much time to prepare. And it was my first time going to a retreat. So I didn't even know what I needed to prepare. I'm so excited that I have nine whole months to prepare for this retreat. Um, it will be the only retreat that I go to. So I'm excited, guys. I'm so excited. I um, finally put the Christmas decorations away. I have not yet decorated for Valentine's Day, which I do want to do. I'm probably going to do that next week. Um, and we celebrated my granddaughter Maya's 14th. Wow, that must be stuck in my head. It was her 15th birthday. And, you know, this is the year that she is, uh, has been granted permission to wear makeup. So I gave her an Ulta gift card and she couldn't wait. We went to Ulta on her birthday. Uh, she bought a lot of things. She, she was, got a nice consultation 
from um, the person, one of the people that works there. Uh, she is thrilled. She's very happy. She's, you know, experimenting with her makeup. And um, then we went out to eat dinner at Juicy Crab. Now, I don't know, in your area, have you suddenly in the past couple of years um, seen a lot of different like crab boil places popping up? They're everywhere here in Charlotte. So I'm just interested to know if this is happening in your area as well. Uh, so we went to Juicy Crab. That's our favorite one to go to. And I, of course, order uh, fried oysters because I'm obsessed with them. Um, and we, we just had an all-around good time. We came back, um, had ice cream and cake. Well, cake. I don't think we had ice cream. But it was a wonderful celebration. So, I, like I said, I'm really, really happy for her. Um, the weather this week has been quite interesting. I believe it was Tuesday that we were under tornado watches. I actually lost power for a few hours. Um, and then the next day, as is typical of Charlotte, you wouldn't even know anything happened. You just, you wouldn't even know. And the sun was shining brightly. It was really cold out. But that was it. So it's sunny again today and I'm just enjoying it. I'm just enjoying it. Um, so uh, before we continue, I want to uh, bring to your attention that I have a link down in the description box below for buy me a coffee. Um, it is in no way mandatory or expected. But I do use the proceeds from Buy Me A Coffee to help with shipping as I love doing giveaways. Uh, let's see. Um, I have been watching. I finished watching The Crown. And if you have any interest in the royal family whatsoever, I totally recommend that you watch it. It was so well done, in my opinion. And I am just so happy that I watched the whole thing. I, it, it, it's really, it was really good. I learned a lot. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, I'm very happy that I watched it and I do recommend it highly. I then uh, started watching From Scratch with Zoe Saldana. And I was warned, my daughter warned me, um, she actually warned me a while ago that I probably shouldn't watch it. So I felt ready and I watched it and it was heartbreaking, but again, loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I don't know if... Uh, any of you remember, but I'm going to say back in the maybe 80s, sometime in the 80s or 90s, there was a mini series on TV called Shogun. And I had read the book. Actually, I read the book twice. I was obsessed. It takes place in feudal Japan. And I'm obsessed, and I have been ever since. And now there is a new Shogun coming on February 27th. I'm not sure whether it's on Netflix or Hulu or what have you, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to be right there. I'm going to be right there. I cannot miss it. Um, again, if you have any interest in that sort of thing, Tune in. I think it's going to be really, really good. I think it's going to be so good. Oh, gosh. It's all updated and everything. Okay. 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 Um, I want to thank you all for your questions and comments. It took me a while to get through the comments this time. Um, I'm not sure why other than dilly-dallying, but I did finally get through all of the comments. And guys... I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your comments. Please keep leaving comments for me. I love it. I love our little discussions. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, um, I'm going to give you my stats uh, for the past two weeks. It's been 14 days exactly. Um, I stitched for 10 days on four projects. And I did continue to crochet. So four projects, that's not a lot of projects, but I got a lot of progress. I am very, very happy. So just to let you know, this is just going to be a regular floss tube today. But at the end, I'm going to go through my plans for 2024. I'm going to try to not be too chatty about it i'm trying to i'm gonna try my best to get to the point um but i'm sure some of you know from watching other planning videos sometimes that's just not possible because we have all these ideas so um i'm gonna uh, start with my new starts i have two new starts uh the first one is um Santa's House by Cottage Garden Samplings. And it is part of the Fabulous House series. And what is not to love. And um, here is how far I got. Now I stitched on this for three out of the four days that I wanted to get a good four day start on this. And this is how far I got. This needle minder is from Lisa Cross by Floss. She gave this to uh, us at the Queen City Stitch Retreat in 2023. So, um, as you can see, okay, so I'm stitching it on, what am I stitching it on? 32 count Silver Moon Lugana. And um, I'm using the call for flosses, except I'm planning to substitute uh, one of the colors for a Vicki Clayton silk that I have. Um, it, it's a mystery silk. Um, but... Let me show you the piece again. So, of course, you can see that the white um, could probably be showing up better. And, of course, as I'm stitching along, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I should have used B5200. But I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it at all. Um, I also had mentioned on a previous video that I absolutely love the way uh, the snow looks when you stitch snow using a blending filament. So, um, of course, again, I, I'm not using that in this because I don't have any available, but I, I did order some for to make sure that I have it on hand for future snowy projects. <laughs> So there it is. This is um, Santa's house. I'm going to stitch on it for one more day before I put it in my uh, daily rotation. And I'm putting it in my daily rotation because um, this is part of a series. In fact, I'm expecting number two to be delivered um, any day now. And um, I want to keep them all together. And I want to just continually uh, stitch on this. And um, I'm planning to stitch all of them on this Lugana. Um, unless there is some... They're, they're a mystery. We, we don't know what all the houses look like. Uh, the next one is a castle. Um so unless something strange happens, you know, where one of the houses is just not going to go on this fabric, then then I'll change it. But that's my plan for now. I'm going to stitch them all on this fabric um, and um, take it from there. See how that works out. And then again, if I have, if another one uh, comes along that has a lot of white, I'm going to try um, 
to substitute B5200, uh, which is a brighter white, um, unless that doesn't work. So stay tuned. Lots going on around here. Okay. Uh, my next start was my New Year's Day new start, which is No Time Like the Present. It is the 2024 Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along. And again, I'm obsessed. And I love the fact that I tend to stitch on things and I'm pretty obsessed with it. <laughs> I'm obsessed. So here is how far I got. Let's see, I only stitched on this for two days. And this is how far I got. Oops, let's do this this way again. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I even like the way the fabric is showing up because I think that today you can see the green in this fabric better. So I'm stitching it on. Let me see if I fold it. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm stitching it on 32 count Trent by Grace Notes Fabrics. And I got this fabric at the Queen City Stitch Retreat in 2023. And I'm using uh, DMC Black and DMC 550, this purple. And um, those of you who know me well, no, I'm not really a purple girl, but this purple with this fabric is giving me life. So as I said, I'm stitching this, um, I stitched on this for two days and it is now going into my daily rotation because we're going to be stitching on this for the rest of the year and I'm in love. Now my focus project was um just a second. I always get a little mixed up for some reason. But anyway, um it is the uh going to grandma's by Why don't I have these? The praiseworthy stitches. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I love it so much. That house is everything. And this is the one that I am using blending filament. It calls for blending filament. And I love the way it makes the snow look. So I'm going to insert a photo here of how it was the last time I showed it to you. And here it is now. Here we go. Look at that. I got the roof all done. And I don't know if you can see the sparkly in the blending filament, but I can sure see it and I love it. Now I am stitching this on 32 count Silver Moon Lugana. I always want to make sure I'm saying it right. Silvery Moon Lugana. And I'm using the uh, provided DMC conversion. And I am stitching this as part of, this is the Grandma's House Stitch Along that I'm stitching with table four from the Queen City Stitch Retreat 2023, which are Bernadette of Burn Stitches, uh, Jordan, the Tattooed Stitcher, Sarah of Memphis, Sarah E., uh, Amber, Rogue Mama Stitcher, and Lisa, Crossed by Floss. So, um, I stitched on this for seven days. This is seven days worth of stitching. <laughs> And I am now going to, uh, it's now going to go into my daily rotation. Uh, but I will also be stitching on it when we Zoom. We're 
trying to and planning to Zoom um, and stitch together at least once a month, if not more, on this piece. So I love it. I absolutely love it. So that is going to Grandma's. I don't want to lose my needle. As you guys see, I keep my needles in my projects. I'm not sure why I do that, but I think it's just for, for ease, you know, just pick up the project and go. So there's that one. That was my focus. And now I will share with you my whip. I have one whip to share with you, and that is uh, Citrus Summer. Uh, which was part of a Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Quarterly. And that's what it's going to look like when it's done. Love the lemons. I love the lemons. And I will insert a photo here of what it looked like the last time I showed it to you. And here it is now. Got a lot of progress. I'm loving it. Loving it. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to move the needle minder, which also came from Fat Quarter Shop. It was in the uh, Stitch Quarterly package. And here it is. So as you can see, I've, I'm, I'm working on the um, mason jar mug and the lettering on there. And I just love the way this is turning out. Now this is being stitched on 14 count curved tile eight up by Fabric Flare. And I'm using all of the call for DMCs. And I love it. I love it. So I stitched on this um, for, let's see. Four out of six days. I've got two more days um, to stitch on this. And um, then I can move on to a new start. New start after this. I also, as I mentioned briefly, I did work on the uh, crochet blanket that I'm making for my uh, granddaughter who we are expecting in February. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm not going to show it to you today because although I have been um, weaving in the ends as I go along, there's still a lot of ends to be weaved in and it kind of looks a little scary right now. <laughs> So, but I work on that um, every evening and I'm almost done. And so, of course, Maya asked if I can make her a beanie. And so I'm pretty sure that's going to be my next project. My next crochet project. Um, kind of liking crocheting in the evening. That's working for me. Okay, so what do we have next? I have Stitchy Kindness and Happy Mail. I actually got a beautiful card. A beautiful card from Shelia at Sunshine Stitchers. And it is a Happy Holidays card. And I love it so much because I get to look at them all the time now. I love it. Thank you so much, Shelia. Thank you. That was so very thoughtful. I love that. And of course, you know, I'm linking everybody in the description box because, yeah, you people rock. All right. So, free downloads because I never want you to miss a free download that I think you are going to enjoy. Uh, the first one is Made with Love by Fat Quarter Shop. It's a freebie on the Fat Quarter Shop um, website. I did print it out. It looks horrible. I'll insert a photo of it here. It is uh, pretty small. It's 37 by 69. And um, I just think I 
need to have this chart in my repertoire as a possible uh, thing to stitch. And there's also, um, oh, there's also a free quilt pattern um, that looks the same. And uh, you can get, uh, you can download both of those free patterns if you go to the Backwater Shop blog, The Jolly Jabber. I also downloaded Erin Elizabeth's Valentine's freebie, which is just another, it's, it's gorgeous. And it's only um, 30 by 30 stitches. Come on. How cute is that? Yes, I can envision all of these just being, you know, sitting around looking pretty and looking cute during the Valentine season. Okay, um, let's see. Investments in my future stitching happiness. So the uh, guest designer at the um, Queen City uh, Stitch Retreat 2024 is going to be Autumn Lane Designs. And um, they have chosen um, two charts that people might want to stitch for the retreat. It's, of course, not mandatory. Um, and, uh, at the retreat, you get your photo to everybody who's working on that project, um, uh, gets their photo taken in a group. It's, it's, it's really nice. And, but honestly, I didn't want to stitch either one of those. So I have had this autumn lane stitchery project on my wish list for quite some time. So this is what I'm going to be stitching. It is Sakura. Sakura is a geisha, and I love her. I think she's beautiful. She's beautifully charted, and um, yeah, uh, this is what I'm going to stitch. Of course, uh, my plan is to stitch it and have it finished <laughs> by the time uh, of the retreat. Um, I tried that with... Uh, Charlotte for the Mirabilia retreat last year and that didn't work. <laughs> I'm still working on her and I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but Sakura, she's beautiful. I love that I had the excuse, if you will, to uh, go ahead and purchase her and get her started. So, okay. So then, so I had a really hard time trying to find fabric. The fabric that's called for here in this picture, I did find it. Um, let me see if I could tell you what it's called, if I even printed that out. Did I say Autumn Lane Stitchery? Okay, I'm saying it now. Okay, the suggested fabric is 32 count Belfast Linen Memory by Picture This Plus. So, of course, when I looked online, this is not what memory looks like. And um, so I, I, I wasn't going to do that. Um, let me just show it to you guys. Very pretty. Very pretty. I definitely would have stitched her on this. But it doesn't look like this online. So um, I think I spent, as I'm known to do, I think I spent about an hour online just trying to figure out the perfect fabric to stitch her on and then suddenly i remembered that i had this beautiful fabric that i was i've been holding on to for just the right project and excuse the crinkles because yeah i'm treating it you would think that this is some gold or something but it is a 32 count Lugana and it's called Pink Chocolate. I showed this to you guys when I got it. I love it so much. It's a by Be Stitch Me. And I can't remember who showed it on their floss tube and I had to have it. 
Had no idea what I was going to stitch on it, but I had to have it. And so Sakura is going on this fabric. Of course, I need to do a floss toss. Um, so it's subject to that. Um, but I, I do have the flosses. The flosses are on the way. When the flosses come, I'm going to start Sakura. So that was, I think, other than um, a lot of flosses, that was my only investment that I made. Um, other than, of course, the retreat. And I did go ahead, finally, I went ahead. <laughs> you guys are probably so tired of me showing this to you. But I did finally go ahead and get the blosses for, <clears throat> excuse me, for red, for Mirabilia. Because I want to start her. <laughs> I want to start her so badly. So um, I'm going to be stitching red on... 32 count Amanda by Grace Notes Fabrics, but it is a linen. And if you guys know, you know, I don't stitch on linen. But my wonderful table mates talked me into it. They said, you could do it. You could do it. And I love this fabric. So, of course, this is a fat half. And so I'm wondering if chocolate raspberry doesn't work out for Sakura. I might have enough of this to put Sakura on. That's a thought. So anyway, um, what I did was I went to 123 Stitch and I put all of, all of the stuff, all of the stuff. Um, the beads, everything for both charts in my cart. Looked at the price and I was like, that's not about to happen. So I thought about it and I thought about how long it's going to take me to actually stitch them. And so therefore I can wait, I can wait for the beads and embellishments. I can wait for those. So I just went ahead and ordered all of the floss, including, you know, the, the specialty flosses and whatever, chronic, all of that. And so that's on the way. And so when that comes, I'm going to be starting red as well. Uh, so let's talk about giveaway winners. How about we do that? I'm scared because I don't know. Hold, please. It's, it's over there. Okay, so last week I was giving away um, the Be In My Bonnet Stitch Card Set K and uh, the Cross Stitch Chart for Autumn Spice that was featured in a Back Quarter Shop Stitch Quarterly and the one winner will get both of these. And the winner is Mary Mullen. Congratulations. Uh, send me a note at uh, Denise Morris. Denise Morris. <laughs> Design Morris one at gmail.com. And I'll put these in the mail to you. I'm pretty sure I have your address, but please just check in with me. Um, so this week's giveaway... Am I as all over the place as I feel like I am, guys? I'm trying my best. Okay. This week's giveaway. Um, we're going to have uh, two separate giveaways. The first one is going to be for uh, the uh, Be In My Bonnet Stitch Cards Set O. And set. P. P has all those stitchy things on it. 
I kind of like that a lot. Okay. And that's not all. And you will get the uh, Chicken Club chart. Hattie. Hattie is number three of 12 chicken charts. So if you are interested in all three of these charts, don't forget, please be in the U.S. Please be over the age of 18 so that you can legally give me your mailing address. Please be a subscriber. Uh, please do not use the words uh, giveaway, winner, prize, um, anything like that in your comment. And the word that you should use that I'm going to be looking for in your comment is the word chicken. Use the word chicken anywhere in your comment. And I will choose a winner. Um, and announce that on my next video, which I think is going to be in about two weeks. Um, the second giveaway is for Stackables March. March is coming. And Simply Signs Welcome. You will get both of these charts. And so if you are interested in these charts, please use the word welcome anywhere in your comment. All of the same uh, YouTube rules apply. Thank you so much to everyone who participates in the giveaways. I really do appreciate it. And I love that I have this way of giving back to you. So um, thank you so much. I now just have a couple of shout outs of uh, YouTubers, uh, floss tubers who are new to me. Uh, the first one is Bridges Get Stitches. Her name is Tasha. I watched her video of her 2024 plans. She stitches and sews, but mostly stitches. <laughs> and I know we all are really familiar with that. We're like, yeah, we stitch and we do other things, but yeah, mostly stitch. Um, the next one is Ashley, the graveyard stitcher. I watched her video number 15. She uh, does a lot of full coverage, but she also does a variety of other, she stitches a variety of other things as well. And then I watched Kat at Whittier Stitches. I watched her floss tube number 11, which was her whip parade. Um, so that was really, really interesting. I think I watched her yesterday. So that was really, really good. And of course, I'm going to link everyone in the description box below. Please go give them a look and give them some support. As I said, these are people that I just found. So there's a lot of us. <laughs> So what are my plans for 2024? My plans, my thoughts. I am going to continue my whip rotation the way it is. I like what I'm doing um, and I want to continue that. I think that the way I'm doing my whip, whip rotation is allowing me to get a lot of stitches in on the projects that I do touch. Am I touching all of my projects? No, but guys, I have like over 68 whips at this point. So I, it, I, I'm not going to be able to stitch, um, to touch them all. My watch is telling me it's time to stand up, but I'm not gonna stand up right now. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, keep track of my projects electronically. I'm going to try that this year. I have an aversion to, um, what is it called? Um, oh man, why did the name just go out of my head? See, that's how much I don't like it. The spreadsheets, <laughs> spreadsheet, Excel, Excel. I can't tell you how many, uh, times <laughs> I've been trained in Excel. I think I just have a mental block. I just think I just don't want to. So what I did though, and I do want to, I want to learn it. I want to learn it. I I, I, I just can't seem to 
get past this mental block I have. But what I did so far was I started entering my uh, list of whips on a spreadsheet in Word. Because uh, I'm so familiar with Word. I, I, you know, I trust Word. It's not going to trick me or whatever. We'll see where that goes. But I basically want to take all of these little lists that I have here, there, and everywhere. I want to take all of those lists and put them uh, uh, electronically on my computer. And so, of course, I thought, oh, well, what if my computer crashes? God forbid. Okay, I'm putting them on the cloud so that I can still access them all. So, we'll see how that works. I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know. Um... Uh, this for me is a big undertaking. I know that a lot of you are really good with spreadsheets and you really prefer spreadsheets. This is just something new that I'm going to try because I really don't want to write on all these lists anymore. Um, Lisa at Cross by Floss talked about whips galore in 24. And if I'm right, which go give her a look and 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 you can see you know for yourself but if i'm right i believe that lisa was talking about the fact that we have so many projects that are either kitted or uh waiting to be started and so her talk made me feel a little more, I think, relaxed. I think I was getting a little anxious about starting all the things, but I, I feel a little bit more relaxed about that because if I'm not going to start them, what it pretty much like, what is the point of continuously collecting? Which, of course, brings me to the fact that I am, uh, I also watched uh, Christie's Corner, Christy yesterday and she was talking about her plans and she was talking about being mindful and and I had thought about this before I I want to be more mindful with my stitching um I don't want to rush through my stitching which no one can accuse me of rushing through my stitching already I do consider myself a pretty slow stitcher but again I don't want to rush through my stitching because I'm so thinking about What's next? Or can I finish it? I just want to be more mindful about that. Um, and I want to be more mindful about my purchasing. Um, doesn't mean I'm going on a no spend. It just means I'm going to try to be more mindful. Um, I think I'll feel a lot better if I'm not just jumping on every new thing. Now, I don't think I I, I buy uh, as much as a lot of other people. And so that's not even the point. It's just, and I do only buy things that I love, but I also have a wish list that's like six pages long that maybe can wait. A little while longer. It's okay. It's okay. I don't have to have them all. I don't have to have them all. It's okay. Um, I did mention that I'm going to start Sakura and I'm going to start Red and I have two other kitted projects in my weekly rotation that are waiting for me to start. I, I hope to get to those really, really soon. Um, I'm going to continue to crochet in the evenings because I'm really loving it again. Um, I'm loving, I, I sort of kind of organized my yarn. My yarn was in a bunch of garbage bags and I bought, uh, some other prettier containers to put the yarn in. Although I must say I'm not happy with the containers, so I may have to revisit that part of it again, but, um, it looks better than the, than the big garbage bag sitting in my closet right now. 
Um, and so it kind of, you know, and, and making this blanket is, is kind of making me really feel a lot like I want to crochet some more. And so I'm going to keep doing that. Um, and as I said, you know, Maya has asked me to make a beanie for her. Yeah, I'll do that. Not a problem. And, you know, it could be, it could be that babies have a lot to do with it as well. Um, so that's a thing I seem to, I, I feel like I crochet a lot when there are babies around and on the way. I have two crochet whips that I want to finish. One is a circular blanket and one is actually a garment. So I want to get back to those. Um, I will, I, I did mention uh, last video that I will be doing a whip parade. I just don't know exactly when I'm going to do it. I was a bit conflicted about whether to, oh my gosh, why does it get so warm? And I already turned the heat off. Anyway, um, I was conflicted as to whether to simply do a whip parade of all of the whips that I worked on in 2023 or whether to do a full-on whip parade. I have decided to do a full-on whip parade. I just can't tell you right now when that's going to be. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I told you about the Queen City Stitch Retreat in October, which is the only retreat that I have on my calendar for 2024. And I am just fine with that. And um, I want to try, and we'll see if this even happens, but I would love to try uh, to stitch a biscornu, a strawberry, and a drum this year. I've never stitched any of those things, so I would love to give those a try. So those are basically my plans for 2024. Um... I think I'm still going to be really, really happy stitching. And I hope that you are really, really happy stitching as well. And I want to thank you again for sharing your time with me. Um, I would ask that if you uh, do uh, enjoy my videos, if you would please like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, and I am going to leave you with words of inspiration. Be thankful for closed doors, detours, and roadblocks. They protect you from paths and places not meant for you. Happy stitching. Bye.